I want to upgrade this PC to Windows 11. But if I use the PC Health Check app, you can see this computer does not meet the Windows 11 system requirements. And that's because it doesn't have TPM 2.0 and the processor is unsupported. Even though we meet the other requirements like secure boot, plenty of RAM, etc., we still can't upgrade. But luckily, Microsoft has published a way to upgrade some unsupported computers to Windows 11. Now you will need at least TPM 1.2, but we can bypass the check for TPM 2.0 and for the unsupported CPU. But make sure you have the other requirements like secure boot, plenty of RAM, hard drive space, etc. Now this process may screw up your computer and you may need to reinstall Windows 10, which could result in data loss. So only do this if you accept those risks. Microsoft nor I make any guarantee and are not responsible if something goes wrong. The risk is all yours. If you choose to continue, I would highly suggest you make a full backup of your system. Again, you will need at least TPM 1.2 for this to work, but it will also work on a system with TPM 2.0 and an unsupported CPU. If you're not sure if TPM 1.2 or higher is enabled, Press the Windows key, type tpm.msc, and open it. If you see TPM is ready for use, and the version is at least 1.2, you should be good to go. If you have TPM, but it's not enabled, click Prepare the TPM and follow the prompts. Then, right-click the Start button, choose Device Manager, Expand Security Devices, Right-click Trusted Platform Module, Properties, and make sure the device is working properly. Also, make sure you install all updates for Windows 10 before continuing. If you don't, you won't have the Mo Setup folder in your registry. All right, let's do this. Come to this site, and I'll have it linked below. And we need to access the registry. Press the Windows key, start typing Registry, and it should pop up. Open the registry editor. Then we need to access this location. Click H key local machine, expand it, expand system, then setup and select Mo setup. Then we need to add this entry and it must be exact. You could type this in, but it's better to copy it. Back in the registry editor, Right click, new, and create a DWORD 32 bit value. Then paste the name we just copied into this box. I'll press Control V, but you could also right click and paste. The type is reg DWORD, and that's already correct. And the value needs to be one. So right click the name we just created and choose modify. In the value data box, press one and click okay. All right, that's it. But before you go, double check everything and make sure you're in the proper location and everything is entered exactly as shown in the instructions. You don't want an extra space, a dash, an extra zero. It must be exact. If you mess up the registry, you can brick your computer and you'll have to reinstall Windows 10 and start all over. So, verify everything. All right, this all looks good. Close the registry editor and restart your computer. After your computer restarts, come back to this site, scroll down, and now we need to download Windows 11. Click this link, and we're going to create Windows 11 installation media. Expand this and make sure you meet these requirements. We're going to use a USB flash drive, but you can also use a DVD. Once again, look at the requirements and the warning and only proceed if you accept the risk. Download the media creation tool and then launch it. Go through the prompts. If you need to change the language, you can untick this box 
but most people don't need to mess with this. Click next, and we are going to use a USB flash drive. Now make sure the flash drive is blank because anything on it will be erased. So copy the file somewhere else if you need to. Go ahead and connect the USB flash drive to your computer. Click next and select the drive. Make sure you select the proper drive. If you select the wrong one, all data on that drive will be erased. So choose the correct one if you have multiples. This is the one I want. Click next. And now you just need to wait while Windows 11 downloads. And we are done. Click finish and we're ready to install Windows 11. Since we already have the USB drive connected, open up this PC, pop into the drive and run setup. You may need to minimize this window to see the installer. Now Windows will go online to get updates. So just click next. However, if you don't want updates right now, you can click here and change it, but you should go ahead and get the updates now. So I'll click next and then wait while they download. The updater will restart automatically. And because of our registry changes, you should pass this check. Click accept, wait for the updates to finish. And then you're presented with this warning. Once again, this is not recommended by Microsoft and you could damage your computer. If you're fine with that risk, click accept. And you're ready to install. Right now we are set to install Windows 11 Pro and to keep all personal files and apps. That means you'll still have all your pictures, videos, music, documents, other files and programs, which is what most people want. But if you'd prefer a clean install, you can change that here. If you choose nothing, all files, apps, and settings will be erased. So you could start fresh like a brand new PC, but we want to keep everything. And this is your last chance to back out. So be sure you accept the risk. Click install and Windows 11 will install. Awesome. Now all we have to do is wait. If you use software like Pro Tools or audio plugins and have an iLock, you may see this error while Windows 11 is installing. Just leave it there, don't try to click OK. Everything will be fine. You can remove the iLock now if you wish, and it would be a good idea to remove your iLock before installing Windows 11. Your computer will restart several times during the install. And if it's password protected, you'll need to log in for the final setup to finish. And that's it. Windows 11 is installed. Here's the new start menu. As you can see, our previous Windows 10 background carried over. So the first thing I'm going to do to make this look more like Windows 11 is right click the desktop, choose personalize, and select a Windows 11 theme. Awesome. All of our files are still intact. All of our programs are still installed. For example, Studio One opens right up. All of our plugins are also still installed. DaVinci Resolve is still installed and working. And you can see here in system that it is indeed Windows 11 Pro. Cool. Enjoy Windows 11. Mm -hmm.